our hands, right? But the biggest thing that we don't use, a lot of times we'll grab with our hands. But you'll see what we'll do. We'll, we'll drape. We'll drape. When we drape, it's a wrap. Okay? Anytime I drape, I'm making my feet light. I'm giving this guy the opportunity. So we felt the leg back, hip in. And then we felt the angle. Okay? Felt the angle. We're not using our hand, we're not using our hands, not using our elbows and our arms. They're on both knees, they don't have drive. That's why we bring that back foot up. So we can still angle and drive. So we gotta take head and drive leg away on every leg attack, even on a single leg. Same thing, right? Great stuff cover, head and drive leg, take it away. We're talking about head outside now. Now, this is what I want you to do. We're gonna go armpit, or I'll give you the option to push down on the head. Now, one thing that I want you to caution on, when you think about pushing down on the head, a lot of times we get tall to push down on the head. Okay, all right? If you can go hips back, okay, and get your angle and push down on the head, I'm okay with it. If you feel like you're gonna come up tall to push down on the head, then just keep this backside armpit. Now, again, my free arm is uppercutting the ribs, but I'm still stepping back. Okay, and this isn't laces flat territory yet. This is me stepping back, attacking with my hips. So as I step back and attack with my hips, okay, I'm gonna swing, hook with the armpit, and I'm punching in the ribs. So I'm here, right there, okay? Now once I get to this position, I'm gonna start opening up my hips and attacking the elbow. As I circle and it pops off, I can change to a drag, I can change to a knuckle block, and I can just hustle around behind it. Okay, but I've got to attack with my hips. And the better we get with attacking with our hips, the better we'll get at changing head and squaring and covering. Okay, but we're not there yet. So he's in, hips in back, straight head up. I want to be fighting perfect position, all right? So I can, I can sidestep, attack with my hips, get my chest big, and stuff the head right here. This is pretty good position. Don't get here and come back to this position. Put all the weight on your knees, okay? The weight consistently has to be on his shoulder. Now, last thing I want you to focus on, this backside hip. So he's on my right leg, there's my right hip. This backside hip can do a lot of damage. As I arch in and start to circle, I want you to punch his shoulder with your hip. Boom, right there. See, I'm punching his shoulder with my hip. Now I get to this position, man. I got far ankles. I can start attacking the face, and I can run into him. So find, your, find your, your comfort zone in there of where you're gonna punch, where you're gonna stuff, where you're gonna hook and attack. But above all, hips are in attacking, legs are back just enough to stretch those elbows away from the ribs, and we're looking to hunt for that corner and attack with our free hip. Questions? You good? Everybody needs to see it again. One more time, okay? So ultimately, I wanna get it, stay there, I wanna get an angle and I want to be attacking my hips in. He's not going to let it happen super easy. So I'm going to have to step, swing, and attack here. Right here. Boom, boom. Head and chest up. You can hook the hip right here, stuff the head, attack the elbows, hook the ankle, cross face, whatever you can do right here. But I don't get here and go to my knees. Okay? I stay arched in the whole time.